what vegetable is this? Today, I went to the market and fell in love with this beautiful, glossy, purple vegetable. They are called by different names in different parts of the world. They are called brinjals in Asian market, aubergines in UK and eggplants in the US. So I thought I will make a video to show you guys how lovable and tasty they are when done right. The recipe I am sharing here today with you is aubergine pesto pasta, an Italian dish. Hope I have got that right. Eggplant comes in a wide variety of shapes, color and sizes. However, its taste is almost similar with slight variations. The sparrow eggplant is another lesser known variety with tiny fruits. However, the tree shrubs can grow to a height of 5 feet. The most popular is the long pear-shaped, deep purple and glossy skinned variety. The flesh inside is beige colored and has a spongy consistency with seeds. Here are some tips on how to choose an eggplant. Choose eggplants that have a firm, smooth and shiny skin and feel heavy for their size. The outer skin should be free of discoloration, holes or bruises. Avoid eggplants with dry and wrinkled skin which indicates they are past their shelf life. The best part of this vegetable is it's a multitasker that can take on many different and delicious forms. It can be grilled, roasted, stewed, sautéed or even fried. Eggplant works in everything, be it Italian to Asian recipes. What's so good about this vegetable? In some places, brinjols are often referred to as the king of vegetables and is not without cause. It has a wide array of health benefits, rich in nutrients, antioxidants and dietary fiber. It has no fat and is low in calories which makes it an excellent diet food. Eggplants are also rich in minerals and vitamins. Eggplant is a rich source of iron and helps to fight anemia. The potassium in this vegetable helps to absorb calcium. Moreover, the vitamin K and copper in eggplant prevents osteoporosis. Now, you may ask, is there any harmful effects of eating eggplants? In spite of all its health benefits, eating eggplants in large quantities can have some harmful effects. The oxalates in the vegetable can cause stones in the kidney. Eggplants may cause allergic reactions in some people. Here's my recipe for aubergine pesto pasta. Before that, we have to make the basil pesto sauce first. Here is a mini recap of my earlier video, how to make fresh basil pesto sauce. This basil pesto sauce can be prepared earlier and stored in the refrigerator for convenience. Basil pesto sauce can also be bought off the counter from convenience stores. Mind you, they are expensive. It's much cheaper and fresher to do your own. Instead 
of using the pesto or stone grinder, I simply use the food processor. All basil pesto ingredients, I just blended them to a smooth paste in the food processor. The cheese is added during the final blend of the basil pesto so as not to melt it. Delicious basil pesto is now ready for use. Here is how I prepared the aubergines to make aubergine pesto pasta. First, split the aubergines lengthwise. Score the centers with a sharp knife for better penetration. Sprinkle with extra virgin olive oil. Turn over the split aubergines. Bake for 20 minutes at 180 degrees. Meanwhile, boil some pasta. Already look soft and delicious. The flesh can now be easily scooped out. Aubergine basil pesto pasta tastes even more delicious with extra cheese, extra olive oil. Now for the taste test. It's magical. Looks so good. Tastes so good. Mmm, so delicious. The fresh taste of basil. That's all my friends. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful, happy day. Be beautiful. Be happy. Enjoy life. Enjoy every moment.